What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion and you are watching Reptiliatus. If you enjoy videos about different types of cool invertebrate pets, as well as reptiles and other cool critters, definitely consider subscribing down below. And then once you've done that, don't forget to ding the notification bell so that you know when every video I post is coming out. So lately I noticed that there's this huge craze developing over creating videos of your pets eating bees. Yes, I know they kind of look like big blue gummy worms, but they're not. They're actually called hornworms, and they're at the larval stage of a species of hawk moth, but they also make incredible feeders for all sorts of different animals. So, in today's video, I thought I'd kind of follow suit with the trend. If you guys know my really good friend, Kat, her channel's called Tarantula Cat. You can actually watch the video I'm referring to specifically up above. She recently made a video where she fed a bunch of these guys to her tarantulas, and it's been successful and very popular. So I thought to myself, what better thing to do than to feed one of these juicy hornworms to my giant centipedes? Yeah, it's kind of been a while since we've looked at them, so why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's go ahead and feed two of these to my two giant white leg South American centipedes. Alright guys, so here are my centipedes. These are the Scolopendra Gigantia white legs, although they're definitely not Gigantia. They need to be reclassified. I took the water dishes out of the enclosure because I just don't want it being a mess in there right now. But let's go ahead and offer them some giant hornworms and see what they make of these very, very squishy and delicious meals. Alright. Oh, there we go. What does she make of that meal? I don't know if she's going to go for it. Holy macaroni, look at that. Wow. Wow guys, just like that, almost gone. Unbelievable. It's almost completely finished that hornworm. It's pretty much just like a flat little bag of skin at this point. <laughs> Crazy, I mean look how plump she's gotten now from eating that. And that is a pretty large animal as you can see. Not exactly a small centipede. Well dang, there you go, <laughs> she uh, really ate it there and i guess she's decided to go and hide back under her substrate uh if you've been watching the videos about these centipedes for the last while i added a lot of peat moss to the substrate just to add more burrowing opportunity for the animals i am still keeping it drier as advised by most people because this animal and the other do have a tiny bit of mycosis but uh so far so good they seem to be doing okay so fingers crossed there it's really been sort of experimental and nerve wracking keeping these animals um, with the hiccups that I had with the last two. So hopefully they do well. All right guys, so for the next centipede, I wanted to create a more up close and personal experience feeding it. You may have seen my last video I did this. What we're gonna do is move the animal onto this piece of wood and feed it up here so we can get some really close up angles of how things go. So for starters, we're gonna gently uh, use the tongs to Lift things up, have a good look at our little centipede here. Don't want to make anything fall on them. Oh, there we go. 
all we need to do is just gently get them to climb onto that wood so we can move them onto the next piece. Just gotta get them to climb up onto the wood. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh, please, I hope I'm not gonna regret doing this. Okay, here we go. Guys, let's see what happens. She should stay on it because it's everywhere else is smooth and there's nowhere else to climb. So let's see how this goes. And now you can really see how these animals have just evolved to be the perfect predator. I mean, effortlessly hanging upside down, climbing on all kinds of surfaces. Oh, here we go. Oh man, oh! Okay, okay, interesting. So I don't think she's gonna try anything there. No, 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 no. It probably can climb that material. Oh. Interesting. Okay, well, there's a few bite marks on the horn room. This is gonna be the moment. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh. Holy macaroni. Oh, get out the way. Well then. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wow, smart move. Pull it off the edge and dangle it while you eat it. Crazy. At least it went straight for the head, not like the last centipede. That was a little more cruel. Wow, wow, wow. No! Oh my goodness. See, everyone thinks centipedes are so messed up and cool. Look, I can literally hand her her food back. Here. This is yours. Take it. There you go, girl. See how gentle she was? No issues whatsoever. Yeah, no, she's obviously not being gentle to the hornworm, but she's gentle with me. That does not look good. Blech. Well, you know what you want to see next, and it's a time lapse of her finishing that off. Let's get that rolling.
Well guys, she's been doing a little bit of exploring and it seems like maybe she's full at this point. So we're probably just gonna put the animal away. I mean, look at the size of this incredible creature. It is one big centipede. Cool thing is when they groom, you see that they're literally grooming their antennae right now. Such clean animals, despite all the dirt dust on its body right now. But how neat is that, eh? Just grooming and cleaning off the antennae. Beautiful stuff. We're just gonna gently get them to go back into their home and uh, get their water dish back in there and that, that'll kind of be it guys Ooh, look at all that hema lymph so let her finish grooming and odds are she's probably gonna crawl into her home by herself because she'll recognize where she is are you ready to go home if i gently yeah there you go girl you're home. You can go hide again. So you just have to be patient and very gentle with these animals. Of course, they demand respect. But they're really not that bad as long as you give it to them. So beautiful. One of my favorite, favorite creatures in my little pet family. They're so under respected and underappreciated. They're really elegant masters of hunting. You know, we've had them on our planet for millions and millions of years. Truly, truly special. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching that, guys. It's uh, yeah, it's a bit gruesome to see how they kill and hunt their or hunt and kill their prey, but really shows you the power and how incredible, formidable these animals are. And uh, there's definitely something to appreciate about that, I'd say. Well guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching my two giant white leg centipedes consume two of those really fat thumb-sized caterpillars. It's definitely fascinating to see how these animals hunt and consume their prey. If you like this type of content, once again, don't forget to subscribe down below and then ding the notification bell so you know when my next videos come out. Comment down below and let me know what you think about centipedes. I know a lot of people have expressed that they were super frightened by these animals, but after watching some of my videos, found them at least fascinating. And that's a really rewarding thing for me to hear as a keeper of these animals, because that's exactly what I want to do. I want to break down the stigmas surrounding these types of critters so that people can see that there's a lot to appreciate about them. So let me know, would you ever own a centipede? Comment down below and as always, I'll give your comment a heart and I'll engage in a little conversation with you guys. My name is Dion, thanks so much for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. Take care. And if you want to see more videos about centipedes, check out the playlist up above, my centipede playlist.